What's up everyone, today we're going to be counting down the top 10 fastest cars in the world 2017. So, we actually hit 1.5 million subscribers and I honestly can't believe that. that's just insane and it's all because of you guys so I really can't thank you guys enough, it's just amazing. And I know I did say I had something special planned and it will most likely be in my next video which should be tomorrow. So if you do want that video make sure you leave a like right now, let's shoot for 10,000 likes. Also drop a comment down below letting me know what car you would have if you could have any car in the world. Personally, I think I'd have the Koenigsegg Agera R. Number 10, the Bugatti Veyron. So the Bugatti Veyron has a top speed of 253 miles per hour or 407 kilometers an hour and it features an 8 litre quad turbocharged W16 cylinder engine equivalent to two narrow angle V8 engines bolted together. The engine is also fed by four turbochargers and it reaches 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds it has 1000 horsepower which if you guys know a normal car has like a hundred horsepower or something like that so it's a quite a lot but yeah overall it cost 1.3 million dollars or about 900 thousand pounds and it does eight miles to the gallon if you don't know what a gallon is guys it's about four and a half liters and at the gas station you get liters so essentially you're paying like five or six dollars to go about eight miles which is Really not very far at all. Number nine, the SSC Ultima Aero. So the SSC Ultima Aero has a top speed of 257 miles per hour or 413 kilometers an hour. It's a mid-engine supercar which remained the fastest car in the world from 2007 up until 2010. It features a twin turbo V8 engine with 1,183 horsepower. It goes from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.7 seconds and its top speed is 257 miles an hour as I previously did mention but overall the cost of this car is six hundred and fifty four thousand dollars but there is also a much quicker version I will get onto later in the video. Number eight, the Porsche 9FF GT9-R. So the Porsche 9FF GT9-R has a top speed of 257 miles an hour or 413 kilometers an hour, pretty much the exact same as the previous vehicle, the SSC Ultima Aero. But this Porsche was built by German tuning company 9FF and they based it on the Porsche 911. I'm sure a lot of you who know or are into cars can already recognize that. But in my opinion, in, it's essentially the 911 on some crazy steroid. But overall, it reaches 257 miles an hour, reaches 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. It has a 4 litre flat six twin turbo engine which produces 1,120 horsepower somehow. And overall, the car only costs $700,000, which to me seems quite cheap for what you're getting. Number seven, the Koenigsegg Agera R. So the Koenigsegg Agera R has a top speed of 260 miles an hour or 418 kilometers an hour. Personally, I think it's one of the most beautiful cars ever made and it is my personal favourite supercar. The Agera R was first introduced in 2013 and the price of it then was $1.7 million. Now, I don't know if it's gone up and down. It's probably gone up because it's such a rare and unique supercar. But it can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour, which is 100 kilometres an hour, by the way, for you guys that don't know, in 2.8 seconds. It also has a 5 litre V8 engine with twin turbos outputting a crazy 1,099 horsepower. Also, the weight of the car is only 1,435 kilograms. I guess it's what's known as a hypercar and it actually did win hypercar of the year back in 2010 in the Top Gear magazine. All right guys, so drop a like on this video if you would drive these supercars. I know I 100% would drive any of them any time of the day or the week or whatever. Also subscribe and I'll send you your own supercar of your choice. Just let me know which one in the comments. Number six, Bugatti Veyron Supersport. So the Veyron Supersport has a top speed of 268 miles an hour or 431 kilometers an hour. The Veyron 16.4 Supersport is a faster, more powerful version of the original Bugatti Veyron. However, the production was limited to just 30 units. The Supersport has increased engine power of 1,200 horsepower, a torque output of 1,500 newton meters, and a revised aerodynamic package. The Supersport also has a 260 67 miles an hour top speed making it the fastest production road car on the market although it's electronically limited to 258 miles an hour to protect the tires from literally 
disintegrating. It also reaches over 300 kilometers an hour, over two seconds quicker than the original Veyron getting there in just 14.6 seconds. Number five, the Hennessy Venom GT. So the Hennessy Venom GT tops out at 270 miles an hour or 434 kilometers an hour. It's currently one of the fastest cars in the world and the Venom GT reaches 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, about the same as the Veyron. It actually tested at NASA's runway in Florida last February and reached its top speed of 270 miles an hour. It also has an insane 7 litre turbocharged V8 twin turbo engine which produces 1,244 horsepower and the price of the car is about $1 million. Number four, the SSC Ultimate Aero. XT. So the Aero XT has a top speed of 273 miles an hour or 439 kilometers an hour. And as you know, if you've watched the video up until now, you will know the ninth fastest car in the world is the SSC Ultimate Aero, the standard version of this one. However, it has this cousin on steroids called the Aero XT. It was created to mark the end of the SSC Ultimate Aero's production and boast some insane stats, as you well already know. But some other facts, it has a twin turbocharged 7 litre V8, 1,300 horsepower and a weight of just 1,290 kilograms. Number three, the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. So the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 has a top speed of 273 miles an hour or 439 kilometers an hour. It also has a power output of 1,346 horsepower, which is just nuts, and a 0 to 60 time of 2.8 seconds. Overall, this makes the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 one of the most powerful cars in the world and it also holds many different world records. These include the fastest 0 to 200 miles an hour and the fastest 200 miles an hour to 0 miles an hour, so braking. It currently, as far as I'm aware, holds six separate records and it also features a 5 litre V8 engine with twin turbos, the same as the Koenigsegg Agera R. Number two, the Bugatti Chiron. Okay, so the Bugatti Chiron is like the god tier of all cars, at least in 2017 it is, but it has a top speed of 288 miles an hour which is equal to 464 kilometers an hour. The Bugatti Chiron is a mid-engined, two-seated sports car designed by Achim Anschitt and developed by Bugatti as the successor to the Bugatti Veyron. The main carryover piece will be the 8-litre W16 quad-turbocharged engine, though it's heavily updated, obviously. The Chiron now has 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pounds foot of torque. Also like its predecessor, the Veyron, it has a carbon fiber body structure independent suspension and an all-wheel drive system. The Chiron will accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour or 60 miles an hour in under 2.5 seconds beating out the Bugatti Veyron. It will go from 0 to 200 km an hour in under 6.5 seconds and 0 to 300 km an hour in under 13.6 seconds. The Chiron's top speed however is electronically limited to 420 km an hour or just a 260 miles an hour you know for safety reasons, only 260 is pretty slow. But the anticipated full top speed of the Bugatti Chiron is believed to be around 288 miles an hour and the base price of the vehicle is $2.5 million or about two million pounds. Number one, the Devil 16. Okay, so the Devil 16 tops out at 348 miles an hour, apparently, or 560 kilometers an hour. So yeah, the Devel 16 is an extreme hypercar concept production car made by Devel back in 2013. It's kind of crazy that this was made four years ago, but it boasts a 12.3 liter quad turbocharged V16 that is claimed to churn out 5,000 horsepower. And it also allows it a 0 to 60 miles an hour time of 1.8 seconds and a top speed, as I mentioned, of 348 miles an hour. And it's apparently amongst some of the most powerful vehicles ever built.
Alright guys, and those were the top 10 fastest cars in the world 2017. Remember to drop a comment on which car is your favourite. Drop a like if you want this awesome video tomorrow or just want an awesome video. And let's just reach 20,000 likes. Watch yesterday's video if it's on screen and my previous video on that. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thanks very much for watching. This is Top Trend and I'll see you in the next video.